music class. It's great to see you here again this week. We're going to start off with some stretches. So can you reach up way up high, like you're reaching for some apples way up in the tree? Pick them. Good job, give yourself a big hug. Copy what I'm doing. Last week, we smelled some really delicious baked goods. Maybe there's something else you really love the scent of. Maybe it's a favorite food your mom or dad makes for you. Maybe it's a flower. Maybe it's a perfume. Who knows? You pick your favorite scent and we're going to breathe it in together and then blow it out like we're blowing on a candle. Ready? Here we go. Remember, we're breathing down in and not just up. Again. Good. Make sure you're doing this with your hands as well. And breathe in. And out. Very good job. We are going to warm up our voice with some of those vocal slides that we did last time. But this time, I have a fox who's running from the woods. And we're going to follow the line he is running from. All right, so we'll start up here. And we're going to follow with our finger and with our voices. Ready? Ooh. Great. Could we try that a little slower? How about faster? Ooh. Great, here's the next one. Ready? Ooh. How about slower? Ooh. And faster. Ooh. Nice. Next one goes like this, normal speed. Ooh. How about slower? Ready? Faster. Woo! And here is our next one. This one looks a little more complicated. Let's try it slow to start this time. Ready? Woo! Very nice. Let's try it again. Same speed, not too fast yet. Ready? Woo! Okay, this time we can try fast. Ready? Good job. All right, here's the next one. Let's try it not too fast to start since we've got another zigzag going. Ready? Oh, that one ends up higher than the last one, right? Let's try that one again. Same speed. Great. Let's try that one fast. Beautiful. All right. Oh, this one looks crazy. We cannot go too fast to start this one. Ready? Nice and slow. I don't know if I can ever do that one fast. Let's try that again slow. I know you want to try it fast, don't you? Okay, let's go. Ready? Did you make it? I barely did. All right, and one more. Oh, this one looks really strange. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Let's try that again. Great. One more time. Fast. 
All right, good job. Will you please be my echo? Beautiful job. Thank you for echoing, for getting your voice ready with me, and I hope you have a wonderful music class this week. Our second verse for Amani Utupe sounds like this. Will you keep a steady beat with me? Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani Utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great. So what you're going to notice is we have different English words, but do our Swahili words change at all? No. The rhythm, the melody, that's all staying the same. We just have to change our English words. So let's learn those. The first sentence says, road is rocky and the way is dark. Good, and when we sing it, it sounds like this. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Can you try that with me? Here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Good again. Ready, go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. And then we sing the part that we know. Amani utupe na ustawi. Good, the next line says, every road has a different fork. That means... When you come to a road that goes two ways, that's a fork in the road. There's two choices. There's two different directions you could go. So every road has a different fork, like that, all right? And it sounds like every road has a different fork. Give that a try, ready, go. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great, I think you've got it. Let's try that whole new verse together. One, two, here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great job, great job. This time while we're singing it to keep the beat, we marked with me. Here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great. Now we're saying road is rocky and the way is dark. What that means is, is that sometimes our life isn't always easy, right? Sometimes we have a fight with a friend or maybe we don't get a good grade on a test. Somebody didn't play with us at recess today. We have hard times and that's what that line means. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Sometimes we just don't feel very good about things. But in our next line we're saying, but let us have peace and courage, right? Because remember, amani utupe na ustawi means grant us peace, give us courage, which helps to give us a good attitude inside, right? And know that we can handle things. And then the next line says, every road has a different fork. We all have more than one choice. We could choose to do the wrong thing and say mean things about the friend who didn't play with us, or we could just maybe try to make a new friend and make the best of it that day. Or we could see the bad grade on the test and we could be really angry at our teacher 
Or we could go, you know what? I didn't study hard enough. I'm going to study harder next time. So we always have a different choice. We always have the right and the wrong, the good, the bad, the best, the not the best kinds of choices to make, right? So that's what that line is. Every road has a different fork. And then again, we're saying, but give us peace and courage to make those right choices and to do the right things. So let's go back to the very beginning with the music and see if we can try putting verse one and verse two together. Now, after verse two, we have our same chorus part of, Grant us peace, give us courage. Amani utupena ustawi. Grant us peace, give us courage. Amani utupena ustawi. And we sing that part again. We've already learned it. We are just repeating it after this verse. Okay? So here we go. Let's go back with the music and we're going to keep marching to keep a nice steady beat while we sing. bear who we don't want to wake up because if we do we will get very mad. So our song, if you'll please keep a steady beat with me like this on your legs, this is how our song goes. One, two, here it is. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. So as you could hear in our song, we can start loud singing about where the grizzly bear is that he's sleeping in his cave. But then we get to a part that sings, please be very quiet, very, very quiet and we have to make our voices softer and quieter. And then, where did we get loud again? Do you remember? All right, well, let's try those first two parts together. If you, if you can understand the words and you're ready to sing with me, otherwise you can keep listening and keep on keeping a steady beat and see if you hear, where's the second time that we get loud? Here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Where did we get loud again? at the end of the song. On the word mad, that's right. So we can start loud, then we have to get soft, and then we can end loud on the word mad again. Very good. Are you ready to try it with me the whole way through? Here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake 
shake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Great job. Were you able to change your voice from loud to soft to loud? Beautiful. So that's the way the song is supposed to be sung. And if we ever get to be in class again together, I can teach you a different kind of game than we're going to do today along with that song. But for now, I'm going to show you a picture of a train, because trains are loud whenever they're going choo choo. So if you see the picture of a train, then you have to sing our song loud until you see a picture of a kitten. And then you're going to sing softly, like a kitten purrs softly. Okay, so if you see the train, sing loud. If you see the kitten, sing softly. All right, do you understand how it's gonna go? So we're gonna change up what we've already done. You might not start loud. You might not sing soft whenever we sing, please be very quiet. You might have to do the opposite and that's what's tricky, all right? Following along with which picture we're supposed to sing with. Ready, sing. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Good job. Were you able to follow the pictures and change where you were singing loud and where you were singing soft? Awesome. Let's try it again and change it up a little bit. Watch those pictures carefully. One, two, here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Great job following along with loud and soft and hearing and feeling the difference of loud and soft. Now before we go, I do have a quick question. In our singing voice, we can make it loud and we can make it soft. But remember, we have five voices that we can use. What's our loudest voice that we could use besides our loud singing voice? Yes, our shouting voice, you remembered. You remembered our shouting voice would be our loudest like speaking voice, right? So then we have our speaking voice. I just gave you one away. We've already been using our singing voice. What's the softest, quietest speaking kind of voice that we have? Our whisper voice. Yes, that's right, good job. And what's that last voice? Yes, our thinking voice, right? Our thinking voice helps us to just use our brains without having to actually make a sound, right? So now let's change it up. Instead of our loud and soft pictures of our train and our cat, we're gonna bring back our voice pictures and if you see a shouting voice, you have to use your shouting voice. If you see a singing voice, you'll have to use your singing voice. So you've gotta watch carefully because this is gonna be tricky. We're gonna change in between voices just like we did with our Five Little Pumpkins song a little while ago. Are you ready? Let's start with our singing voices. Here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet. Very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, <laughs> Great job reviewing your five voices with me. That was pretty challenging, huh? All right. Well, thank you so much for learning our grizzly bear song, for enjoying bear snores on, and reviewing loud and soft and your five voices. Man, we got a lot done in one song. Bear Snores On by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. In a cave, in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, 
sleeps a great brown bear. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Cuddled in a heap, with his eyes tight shut, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl, and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat, tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop. But the bear snores on. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Two glowing eyes, sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? and a hare hops in. Ho, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips wee slurps, hare burps big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share? I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. And they nibble, and they munch, with a chew, chomp, crunch. But the bear snores on. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Ah! Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they titter. They chat and they chitter. But the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hare stokes the fire. Mouse seasons the stew. Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear hot. He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. And the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls and he snarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. 
Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun. But me, I was sleeping and I have had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans. And the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, we can pop more corn. We can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles. He sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. The End patriotic song called this land is your land this land is my land and you may already know it maybe you've heard it on k-pop you could have heard it lots of different places because this song has been around for a long time and i love its message that our country belongs to all of us and it's all of our jobs to take care of it right so our motions for the first part of the song that we're going to learn today go like this this land is your land. Can you make sure you're standing up to try it with me and do the motions along with me? This land is your land. This land is my land. Just like that. Let's try singing it and doing that together. Here we go. This land is your land. This land is my land. Great job. The next part goes from California to the New York Islands. So from California, and I know California might not be this way, that's okay. We're just pointing from one side of the country to the other and pretending like that's where it is. So from California to the New York Islands, like that. Let's sing it, here we go. From California to the New York Islands. Good job, let's put everything from the beginning together so far. Ready, here we go. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest is our next part. And we turn ourselves into a tree. From, and redwoods are super tall, so that's why we put our arms way up here. We're not like a tree like this. We're tall trees. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. And we make waves like that. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. If you've ever been to South Padre or Corpus Christi or Galveston, you've been in the Gulf waters. So here we go, the Gulf Stream waters look like that. Let's try that part, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Ready, here we go from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. And then we just do something similar to the beginning again. This land was made for you and me. Just faster, right? Good, let's try it from the beginning. Ready, here we go. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Very good job. Now let's add in some music and try it with the music and the motions all together. Is you. 
job. Very nice work putting the singing and the motions all together. Next time, we'll learn verse two. Now we have a song, it's called Horsco Colo, and it's a Danish song, and I have a paper plate here because that's going to be my steering wheel for my car today. And if you have a hula hoop or a paper plate, anything at all, because steering wheels come in all sorts of shapes, could be a block or anything, just as long as it's not sharp or dangerous in some way, then it's fine to use. So we're going to use our steering wheel, and as the song goes, we're going to make our feet match the music. Here we go. And if you want to go in different places, that's fine. You can go sideways. You can go around. It could be anywhere. Any which way, find the way that you want to go, as long as you're not getting close to someone. That's the brakes on. Slow it down. Brakes on, bring your car to a stop. Great job listening today. Keep up the great work. Mm -hmm.